are different types of charts that you can actually add in inside of Google Data Studio. And one of the type of charts is a tree map. So to do that, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to go to the piece uh, menu right here and click a new piece right here. So you can see that I have a blank piece. And this is where I'm going to add in the tree map. So to add in a tree map, I'm going to go to add a chart right here and I'm going to go around and scroll down. And here you can see tree map is an option. Once you go around and click and click somewhere else right here, then this is what you have. You can see that uh, different consoles is here and it is based on the record count right here. But I don't want uh, the tree map to be based on record count, but rather on the sales right here. So once I do that, you can see that the size of PlayStation is bigger because the sales over here is seven and for 3DS it is four. And accordingly, you can see the size scenes right here. You can go back and this is what you have. So you can change around the dimension onto sales as well instead of console. So let me just do that. And what happens is that you see the sales number instead. But I'm just going to go around and add in a console itself, as you can see. Similarly, you can go around over here and add in metric sliders over here, which allows you to control out the sales number, as you can see. And it becomes interactive as well. And you can see the tree chart uh, resize according to uh, the number of sales that you have right here. So that is how you can work around with a tree map uh, chart inside of Google Data Studio. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.